机舱里除了座位还是座位，这就是廉价航空最常见的样子，常成为脱口秀揶揄的对象。Spirit Airlines, the cargo hold is our first class. 拥挤的机舱创造巨大的商机，联航在飞航产业已经占了三分之一，而且还在持续成长。This is a model that is kind of proliferated around the world, so it's not just in Europe, it's not just in the U.S. Low-cost airlines have sprung up in Latin America. They've sprung up in Asia, and they're really trying to stimulate a market that maybe was a population that didn't fly before. 从北美的精神航空、欧洲的瑞安、易捷，还有亚洲航空跟电缆在各地穿梭，就连以往熟悉的大型航空公司也在竞争压力之下提供不同的票价模式。This idea that you can purchase a cheaper ticket on Delta or United or American, but it comes with fewer privileges. You know, it doesn't let you change the ticket. It doesn't include seat selection. It doesn't include a check bag. This idea of Basic economy is only about a decade old, but it's how the full-service airlines have kind of settled on competing with the budget airlines. 大量的航空业者投入廉价航空产业，透过压缩飞机上的服务来减低成本，包括没有机上娱乐系统以及网络、行李托运、餐饮等服务也要另外收费。专家表示，这样的做法不仅能压低机票价格，也能减少航空公司必须支付百分之七点五的消费税金。What that 7.5 percent excise tax does not apply to are any optional add-on fees. So when you purchase a hundred-dollar flight, and that includes checked bags, that includes seat selection and whatnot, the airline still has to pay seven dollars and fifty cents in tax on that hundred dollars. But instead, if you purchase a fifty-dollar ticket and then have to pay fifty dollars to check a bag, to pick your seats, to buy a drink. The airline only has to pay that excise tax on the fifty-dollar ticket that you purchase, not the fifty dollars in add-on fees. 而且为了确保最大限度地增加旗下班机的飞行时间，业者推出跟一般航空完全不同的运作方式。Ultra low-cost carriers they charge more for a carry-on bag than a check luggage because with carry-on bag it takes longer to turn a plane around, so it's more cost savings if you check your luggage for them than if you carry it on. Load factor is kind of the name of the game. Getting as many people on those planes as possible. These are single class planes. These are not planes that have a first class. They pack them with seats. 就连飞机的机型也都使用同样的机种，可以降低操作以及维修人员的成本，而且通常会利用比较小型的机场，减少拥挤的几率，就有机会增加航班的利用。频繁穿梭的短程飞行最有利于联航的生存。Where budget airlines really kind of have the most competitive advantage are on short. Flight. So the fact that Europe has a lot more density and large cities packed close together is a sort of ripe environment for budget airlines. This also made Europe into the land of high cost airlines. Ryanair Air Canada's last year's profit was more than the record history. There are many more secondary airports in Europe compared to the U.S., and those secondary airports are going to be less convenient as a traveler. Oftentimes, they're further out, but there are much Much cheaper for the airlines to fly into or to take off from, so you can see those savings passed on to travelers. How much do you usually pay? Fifteen, fifteen euros. Wow, that's pretty cheap. 但疫情后，民众愿意花更多钱在空中享受更好的服务。相较于一般大型航空公司来说，廉价航空的成长幅度其实没有想象中这么大。未来还有排碳税征收的难题，也将考验这些廉价航空如何突破重围，把飞航收益给最大化。TVBS 新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。